Here we Here's go. the drawing. There's the drawing, folks. He sent me a drawing of a beautiful pot that he wanted to have made. I saw it on my computer. I've replicated it onto the floor here with the Van Gogh swirls going on, two handles on the side. We're gonna do a lip wrap. He kind of gave it a little bit of room for artist choice and we talked about a little bit of transparency in it as well so you can see the roots growing in there. Uh, I've got chives in my kitchen that I put in a mason jar with a bunch of dirt and to see those roots start circling around the bottom and getting crazy is a pretty darn cool uh, thing to see. One thing I want to bring up right now is the handles. There's a way that I can bring you handles when you're ready and the piece is done and you're putting the handles on where I take them and I bring them over and I let the handle ooze over the end of the taglia and then I can, or I can just cut the handle and have it be like that with two things and I bring it over to you hot and you go like this and you pull it up and you cut it with the diamonds and it creates your cool handle and it's a way to put it on hot as opposed to, because it looked like the picture we saw, those handles were a little bit more in coming off the piece as opposed to being a complete circle like when we made the uh, right. pot of gold. Right. So that's a way to put those type of handles on. It's a traditional Italian way of putting them on. And I know how to prep them, so I'll just bring them to you and then you just get your thing ready. You bring them down just like this and stick them right on the edge of the pot. Okay. Pull it up and then As long as snip. that crevice is, is wide enough. I'll hold the in there. Okay. <laughs> the uh, 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 in there. All right. Sometimes when you're blowing glass, guys, you can't figure out the word, so then all you do is it make just a grunting to me noise. earlier. Yeah, you just make the grunting noise. <clears throat> and that means just about anything you want it to be. When you really know people well enough, or you worked with them, or you live around them enough, you don't really need words anymore. You just it's need like signals, like. Well, that's sign language. And that means gather it up. <laughs> like this. It's our own glass blowing sign language. I'm going to make it, uh, I'm going to do two gathers. I want to leave it kind of thick. We're going to bore a hole into the bottom so that the water can uh, go through. We thought about drilling it, but we think boring the hole will be cooler for you guys to see. We'll do it hot and it's gonna come out a lot cleaner than having a big cut mark in the bottom of it. So you're just gonna tungsten it at the end? Tungsten and then ream it open a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. There's our crystal clear. Not worried about the symmetry of it too much right now because I'm gonna take it over to the perch. And give it a little, a little bit of white. Give it a heat and I'm gonna double down. I'm gonna double dose. Double dose this bad boy. I don't even know if that's a real thing. Shelly's double got dose. over a hundred plants in her house. Wow. And the largest one, she said, is like almost 30 feet tall. What? Shelly. Shelly. She's hardcore. Just messing with you. She didn't say that. <laughs> I just had to add a little extra. She's got a palm tree in her house. We had somebody try to give us a palm tree. At one point in time, we had a lady who was working for us who was in charge of all the plants, and we had hundreds of plants in here. And Michelle made the mistake of putting on Facebook, if anybody wants to get rid of their plants and they're too big for their house, we'll take them. And somebody showed up with a U-Haul and started delivering plants. That's a lot of plants. Yeah. Get a nice zoom on this one, Uncle Dennis. This is gonna be the sweet Vortex special. Two schmacks. Yeah, Becky has your Some bathroom. sticky She's tweezers. A bunch of plants in her bedroom. Yeah, Lucy's got a ton of them in her bedroom in uh, New York. She loves the plants. Eat it up Sharon and go says for that more. would be two shots of tequila. What one? I don't know. She just said that. Two smacks. Two smacks. Two shots. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Jake and Michelle have been hitting that tequila kind of hard lately. Not me. You haven't been? Nope. I mixed Michelle up a nice stiff one the other day. <laughs> 
Couple more swirls here for Scott. Bill, thanks for the blast making that thing. Read these comments while Jake's doing his gig over there. That's about as vortextuous, vortextuous as it could be. Texturious? Yes. Is that a word? This is pretty nice here, being able to look at the comments right here. I know. Carol said she's got 28 pots of gold in her house. Well, she doesn't have the one we made the other day because that puppy's sitting over there. That puppy is still it's there. It's looking good. Because there is 28 gold coins on that. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of a weird Number? energy there. 28? Yeah. Well, anywho. I got the color pattern figured out. I'm gonna Watch out right start there. squishing this into the body and the swirls are looking correct right now. Absolutely correct. Mm, looking good. Want it's, no texture. What You guys, what a lot of people don't understand is that different colors melt at different temperatures. So if Jake just took that and tried to blow it out without chilling the surface of the glass on the steel plate, which is a marver, when he blew it out, it would blow through the purple well before it blows through the white because the purple's a lot softer than the white, so marvering it like this is shaping the glass, yes, for sure it is, but it's more importantly, it's chilling like an eighth of an inch of the glass extremely quickly so that when he blows the bubble in, the bubble blows out symmetrical. The bubble is blowing in this moment. Here it blows. Listen to it. Whoa, whoa. It's in there. I heard it. I heard it too. It was blowing this morning when I woke up. I looked at the window and I thought the tree was coming over on the house. The bubble? I had the no, craziest. The tree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I Thanks thought for the bubble was Jake. blowing. Thanks for listening. He's like, the bubble? Yes, okay. <laughs> I thought the bubble was blowing. <laughs> <laughs> I did have the craziest dream the other day that now I got to focus on what I'm doing. But what? You can tell the dream. Come <laughs> I'll on. I'll tell it in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to eat a bench blow in a second. <laughs> it was so involved, I can't start. I gotta finish. I'll, I'll say it later. It was just insane. You got a caliper, so you know what five inches is? I'm eyeballing it. I do have the ruler right there, though. A nice shop ruler now. All right, puff on. Good. Look at that swirlage. <whistles> Depending on the thickness of it, I really left some thickness down there so it's got some weight to it. Do you think it would be better to maybe drill it if it's real thick down it. there? You still got to go bigger. That's about three inches right now. Yeah. You're going to have to blow it out more, and you're putting a foot on it. So I'll blow the bottom out nice and thin. We don't need any extra. I wasn't going to put a foot on it. Oh, if it's extra thick down there, that's fine. Blow. Good. That's four inches, maybe. Let me get the ruler out, folks. Let's take a look. For some folks, that's about four and a half. Here. For some folks, uh, bigger isn't always better. So I want to make sure as I'm blowing it out, if we get it too big, I was kind of eyeballing it and like, hey, if I go a little big, it's no big deal. Hit us five inches. Thank you. But anyway. No taglia? Hold on. Okay, bleh. Good. Nice. That looks pretty good. It's looking really good. You're gonna let, just uh. That's what we like to see, Bill. What are you talking about? What do we want to see? Real light. Good. I think that's our shape right there. We're going to flatten up the bottom. We're just going to 
heat that bottom up, and I'll give it the super crunch. Or are you gonna? I think just a little caparooni will be perfect. Shh, shh, shh. My dream was so involved, I can't get into it. I remember every every bit of it. It was like five days ago, but. At one point, we were just driving in the car, and it was snowing, and there was some sort of like otherworldly situation going on in the sky. We were freaking out, and we like looked all the way down into the into the far away, and there were these giant trees that were like as big as a quarter of the shop in diameter going up, and they started flapping because of this snowstorm, and they were flapping left and right and like getting crazy. We we're like, how is this even possible? And then they just disappeared and bent down the other way. Cap it. As if there was like one huge gust of wind. Uh, how about a, oh no, we don't need a Maurice because we're gonna bore a hole through it, perfect. Put a Maurice on it? Nah, because we're boring a hole in it, right? Oh, we're gonna bore a hole in it right now? Well, what do you think, what's best? How thin is it down there? It's, it's got decent thickness, but we could still go get right through it. I think we could still put a hole through it. All right. I think too with a plant you can also indent that a little bit in the bottom so that the hole's up a little bit so that you've got just a, a little donut where the water sits in the bottom and it doesn't completely drain out maybe. But I think it's perfect the way you have it. It looks just like that. So now we're going to tungsten and then I'll make a crown punk eye. You guys got all that information? I hope my uh, dream story made sense there. Giant trees flapping in the wind. It was crazy. They were just flapping, and then all of a sudden, it was just like the world was ending. It was wild. So here comes the old tungsten. Red hot metal, tungsten metal. It's going to bore a hole into the bottom, and then I'm going to torch it, heat it up, and widen up the hole so that it's an, a legitimate, nice Stop turning. plant hole. Okay, got it. Oh yeah. So there's a hole in there. You're now. gonna flash it. I'm gonna uh, hit it with a torch for a second, then you'll just tweeze into it. Yeah, sounds good. I think that's such a good idea. What's that? The swirls on that look amazing. Just doing the hole in the bottom. You want to torture yourself? Yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm, uh, would you grab it? We got like a thinner piece of metal in there. I'll get you that, uh, rake. Yes. Yes. That's a great question, Vicky. You're going to see that in a second. This is where the challenge comes in. It's good to give you guys a challenge. It was a pretty challenging evening. Uh, I like the punny question because that tells us that our customers really understand the process. You can pull they're, out with it too. They're longtime watchers of this. There you go. And so they understand. Wait a second, what's up with the punny? How do, you know what I, do you know what I mean? Like, how many people are watching that are new? Let's see some thumbs up, some emojis or something, so you know how many newbies are on. When you know what the punny is, that tells me you've been watching the show for a little while. You've been around. And yeah. we know that the punty, where we're going to stick the punny, there's a hole in the bottom of the piece. So we're not going to make a normal punny. We're going to make an abnormal punny. Abnormal. Right. Just like young Frankenstein. Abby Normal. What? That was the person's name, Abby Normal. But uh, this is not easy, folks. It's gonna be, it's open, it's plenty big. It's gonna let water out, it's gonna be bigger than that. Shout out to a Brenda. Brenda's new to the show, welcome. What up, Brenda? If you are watching, we do ask that you share it with your friends and family. Tell them what's going on. We are a family owned business outside of Metro Detroit. Been doing the Gathering Point show since the pandemic. It's been a two years now. In fact, this is the point of gathering. One of the videos, our first videos, came up in my feed. Remember this day two years ago. I'm going to remember this day two years from now because of uh, Bill's sweet dragon mug. <laughs> All right, you ready for a punte? I'm ready. 
So Chris is going to bring, you're going to see, this is the different point. Different punty, a little bit abnormal. We need to have something that's going to connect all the way around. Something that's not pointed is going to go inside the hole. It's got to be a ring that'll touch all the way on the outside of the hole and still be gentle enough to get off. Called a crown punny. Yeah, exactly. I was just going to say, Michelle said it though. It's called a crown punny, you guys. You're going to see why it's called a crown punny. Watch. And we got another newbie. I believe it's Sharina, but I'm not 100% sure. Welcome to the show. Every Tuesday night at 6 o'clock, we do live glass blowing shows to let your friends and family know. I have that, Jake. I got to sit down there. Every week we do something different. That was the Dragon Mug was a custom order. You can place custom orders. If there are no custom orders, we make some of our products that we sell on our website. So glassacademy.com is the website. That's where you're going to find all our products. I don't think we talked about so that's our subscriber why I, channel yet either. That's why it looks I like a crown, guys. It looks like a crown, and then look at it, it's open on the end. So that's going to not clog up the hole that Jake's got in there for the plant. Wait a second. You cannot get on Uncle Dennis getting the camera too close when you just take that putty and almost like put it through the lens. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything about that move. Perfect. All right, William says, the brain Igor found in Mel Brooks' Young Frankenstein, it was the brain of Abby Normal. It was the what? The brain of Abby Normal. The grain? Brain. Oh, the brain, yeah. That's what they thought her name was, Abby Normal, but it was really an abnormal brain. <laughs> I love it. And that's why I always tell Jake to walk this way, you guys. He doesn't understand. <laughs> that was from Young Frankenstein, too. I don't know anything about that. He's got to watch that show. Can't just be watching all the other stuff he watches. Oh, speaking of which, oh. all right, Bad Vegan was the one. What was the other one we're watching? Reclaiming Anna. What is that called? Reinventing. Reinventing Anna. I don't know how many people are watching that. He folding the slip? So it's nice and solid. It's better to fold it outwards. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah? Why? It's stronger and thicker. You can fold it inwards. I think it depends on the color pattern. You got the height. Let's go straight up with it. Flare it, then go on the inside and neck it now. All right. Inside, straighten it out a little bit. And then you heat it up again and push that thing down. It is, the color is making it a little bit funky. Try to heat just the tip so the shoulder's not hot. I go on the inside first and just open it up a hair, then go right on the back of the jacks on the outside and press that down. Perfect. Push it right in there, all the way, push it all the way flat, and then go back now, now bring it back open. There you go. There we are. Nice. Yeah. Love the smell of burning wood, guys. It's a wonder that Glass floors love sitting around fires and being in a sauna and yep. walking on hot coals and all that other good stuff. Love that. Love that a lot. Oh yeah. So you see all those colors in there. That's what the marble helps out a lot with you guys, those colors. Those colors, all those Van Gogh swirls make it really, really, really uh, loose because it's soft. It's softer than just crystal. That 
that's our shape right there. Looks great. What color are the handles gonna be? The handles are gonna be, I think clear would look beautiful. All right. That's what I'm thinking. So I'll start them up. Yeah. Give it a little more flare. Then I'm gonna hold it next to you, Uncle Dennis, over here. We'll take a look at the picture. See that next to the picture. I'll take a flash. We can do another one. Can I use the bench, Jake? Yep. Go ahead. That's about the shape right there. Now we got to put the handles on there. That's what we got Chris shaping up over here out of clear. It's going for some special handle application I've never done before. Scott says clear is perfect. That's what I like to see. Maybe torch the tips. Gotta be real careful when I'm standing here, remembering that the fan's on. Yep. These plants are gonna look real good in this thing, that's all I know. You ready? It's the one, let's do it. Uh, other way? Turn, turn. You turn. Yeah, there we go. That way? Yep. Yep. Start the other one up? Yeah. Went on really clean. Now I'm just fixing up that cut mark where I cut it off, but the connection onto the piece is super tight. First time I've done one like that, it went on pretty darn good. One more flash. Can Learning I sit, sit here for a second? Yeah, I gotta get in there for one sec, but in here? I'll do it on the outside. Go ahead. Take one more flash. Yep. Okay. Yep. I'm good, I'm good. Just barely squeezing in there.
Nice. GA stamp? Yeah. Shouts out, Norman. See you over there on the YT. Nice and smoothed out. Just went on like butter. Looks just like the picture. Mm -hmm. Good. Is there? I think this one needs to be gloved away, eh? Yeah, probably. Let's take a look at it next to the picture here, Uncle Dennis. Oh yeah. That's it right there. Nailed it. Nailed it. Don't try to get the uh, the uh, water right down in the crack. Just get it on the crown pony itself. Okay. It'll, it'll come off. Yeah, it's not on there too strong. I think it'll come off perfect. Here we go. Can I torch it a little just to get that off of there? Oh, I'll torch it. Woo! Beautiful. Hardly anything on here. You're gonna get the door for me? I'll get the door. Nice. Right. Very nice. Super cool, yeah. That is a sweet beautiful memorial piece. That's that is pretty is. darn cool for really Scott. Nice. Yeah, Scott, that thing turned out great. I love it. Love making pieces that make people happy. Yeah, it's Create good memories. Anything that's got a story to it, any kind of history, any kind of extra meaning is super cool. A birthday piece and a memorial piece.